If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Welcome to the Prosperity Rx Podcast. This is Keith Abel with your prescription for prosperity. This is a podcast where I give you hope. I show you the path to build a life of health, wealth, and prosperity. To build a life that you don't need a vacation from. Folks, we've all messed up by believing some of the prevailing wellness and money myths in our culture. The turning point in your life, however, comes when you're willing to own up to it. To take your health and your finances into your own hands. To claw your way out of whatever's holding you back and never live in that lie again. Let me ask you, what good is your wealth if you have poor health? And what good is your health if you have no wealth? If you're willing to own up to it, to accept that you do have the power to change your circumstances, and that you're willing to do whatever it takes, then this podcast is for you. Humorous Josh Billings said, health is like money. We never have a true idea of its value until we lose it. You truly can change your life and start on the true path for good health financial peace and prosperity so let's get on with the show you know, this has definitely been a challenging year none of us uh, when we started the year 2020 expected all the uh, events to happen that have uh, occurred this year you know there's record number of people Hang on. don't have a clue what my phone is doing here there we go Anyhow, we've had a record number of people lose their jobs this year. Uh, we've had many, many people become ill with this crazy virus. And it's just been a challenging year. You know, we started off a year with all of our goals set. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, we started off the year with all these goals to reach a certain point by a certain time. And... Uh, when we look back now, it's half of the year is over. Most of us have not reached our goals. Most of us have been waylaid by all the circumstances. And some of those goals seem insignificant now. Thanks, Gina, for jumping on. Some of those goals that we set in uh, January seem totally insignificant now, considering what's going on. But I just want you to think about it. If it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. You know, we've got to... Uh, We've got to take control of our own destiny, take control of our life. You know, we need to reevaluate things now in July. Uh, consider the fact that this uh, virus and these economic troubles are going to be with us a little bit uh, longer and set some new goals and, and just realize you're going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged along the way. Uh, things are going to try to knock you off the path to achieve those goals. I mean, certainly for me, I was on that nice weight loss journey and fitness journey uh, at the beginning of the year, and then all this stuff just completely knocked me off that journey. And for me, I've been dealing with my mother-in-law. She had back surgery, so she had to move in with us at the beginning of the year while we prepare for surgery. And you'll stay with us for a few, uh, the goal was to stay with us for a few weeks uh, after surgery till she had got recovered and with the coronavirus striking we decided to keep her here with us so it's been challenging it's definitely challenged uh, me on being able to meet the weight loss and the uh, fitness goals that I had set at the beginning of the year uh, but the only goal we managed to continue with is to continue our following Dave Ramsey's uh, baby step uh, of getting six months of our income into the uh, emergency fund. That's about the only goal that we set at the beginning of the year that we've been able to, you know, continue working on. We should be at that goal by the end of this month. I've been lucky enough that my job is an essential job, so I didn't face some of the hardships that some folks faced this year. But I just want to remind you, if it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. You know, if something was easy to do, then, you know, everybody would do it. But it's not easy. It's not easy to get fit. It's not easy to lose weight. It's not easy to uh, improve your financial situation. It's not easy to get out of debt. It, it, it's, it's not easy to pay down those credit cards. Those things aren't easy to do. So you've got to revisit it now and 
recommit to working on those goals. Set some new goals for the rest of the year. I've done that. Uh, I've set the goal that I'm still going to hit my weight loss goal by October 30th. October 30th is when I turn 60 years old. I have a goal to be at 275 pounds. So far, I've lost nine pounds on this keto diet this week. Uh, I've, I'm out here every day doing my walks again. I'm going to hit that goal. It's something I am going to accomplish. I'm getting healthier. We've got our financial house in order. We're going to, we're going to make our goals. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. I've got to get myself out of bed every day and get down here to the park and do these walks. It's challenging. I've got to ignore those cravings for the meat lovers pizza from hometown pizza, my absolute favorite junk food. But I've got to resist those cravings and stick with this keto diet because I know in the end I'm going to feel better at 60 than I felt when I was in my 30s when I graduated from pharmacy school. I'm going to feel better. And I want to take as many of you folks with me on this journey as I can. You know, if you want to learn more about what I'm doing as far as the uh, health and wellness regimen, you know, reach out to me through private message and I'll share with you what I'm doing. If you want to learn more about how to get yourself out of debt, uh, live the Dave Ramsey lifestyle, do the things that my wife and I have done, then reach out to me. You know, if you're my age and you're concerned about your retirement, let me show you how you can possibly create some extra income on the side to reach those retirement goals. It's not too late. I'm doing it. I'm working on those goals and I'm going to get there and I want to help as many people as I possibly can go on those uh, reach those goals as well. So reach out to me. I'll work with you any way I can and together we can reach those goals. Thanks again for watching. This has been the Prosperity Rx Podcast with Pharmacist Keith Abel. Prosperity Rx, your prescription for health, wellness, and prosperity. If you found value with this episode, please share and go to Apple iTunes, make a comment, and give us a five-star rating. Also, subscribe to iTunes or your favorite podcast platform. Prosperity Rx can also be found on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash prosperity rx. Pharmacist Keith is also a business entrepreneur, and he helps folks from all walks of life start and run their own home-based business. If you'd like Keith to help you create your own business, then visit aimhighforsuccess.com.